You know, touch screens are a beautiful thing, but when I'm doing GPS, I accidentally glanced part of the screen with my thumb, and it was going to add a two hour extra trip. I guess it was set to go the fastest way, and the slight movement of my thumb had it readjust the route, and it was going to be a six hour and 40 minute trip versus a four and a half hour trip. Good thing I caught that. I do not need an extra two hour drive. That's not good. That's the maintenance required light. I just heard a ding and the maintenance required light came on. That is going to be a problem for me. I know that I most likely will be able to drive it a long ways. Uh, there's a variety of reasons that the maintenance required light could come on. But when I'm doing a thousands of mile road trip, I don't want to leave anything to chance because the last thing I need is my vacation getting wasted on the side of the highway while I'm waiting and waiting for the emergency roadside assistance to come. So I think when I get to Seattle at some point, I'm going to see if I can go to the Hertz dealership there and trade this in for another economy car. I am about to go through the smallest tunnel that I think I have ever driven through. Well, it's 12 foot 9 inches, but I should say the slimmest tunnel that I've ever driven through. Only enough room for one car through here. Anybody else would have to wait off the side. Okay, I had to pull over because I am very curious. This, this, this is hard to miss from the, uh, when you're driving along. Very hard to miss. I am curious as to what type of an animal would be responsible for this. Here's my hand for scale. Maybe it's Bigfoot? I don't know, but that is a huge pile of crap. I would guess maybe a bear, in which case I'm glad I'm not camping in this part of the woods. If any of you watching are familiar with farming and know what kind of animal that was, or maybe you're a hunter or something and have any idea what kind of scat that was, leave it in the comments because I would love to know what animal produced that.